Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm back out here. Uh, I still got a little more work to do on the Supra. I'll show you what we gotta do. First of all, we got the interior all back together. I did that Sunday night. It still smells like uh, solvent in there. It smells really good. But that's probably why I get big old headaches when I drive it right now. Um, I drove it to work Monday. So there's just a few more things to do to it. And honestly, I am really tired of the car. I'm extremely happy with how it came out. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm just kind of tired of the car since we're working on it a lot this whole week. So, um, I'll show you what we have to do. So, I forgot to do it, but I need to buy some 4,000, well, 4-0 or 4 ot steel wool and get this overspray off the glass. Um, see right there, some right there. There's more overspray back there. Some overspray right there. So, I was at the parts store today, but of course, like a big dummy, I forgot to buy it. So I gotta, gotta pick some up at the parts store at uh, hardware next time I'm there. That's not a big deal. I'll just take some 4-Rot steel wool, softly go over it. Make sure it's 4-Rot. If it's any, it's any uh, lower of a grit, yeah, lower of a grit, you can scratch your glass, which isn't great. Um, but what we're out here to do is wet sand the whole car. So, I said, I talked to our painter, Jason. He He's done, like, show cars and everything. He told me to spray it. I'm trying to show you guys. There you go. He told me to spray it a little dry peel and, like, orange peel like that so I can wet sand and buff it. So it can come up like this or like the roof. It's a little, it's a little dusty. But, yeah, look how... Look how much of a mirror the roof is. Since this is a flat panel, it's not gonna run. So like, if I were to spray the door that that heavy and that flat, um, I would have a big old curtain of a run all the way along that. So that's why there's some orange peel. Like, yeah, you can see it. You can see the orange peel. So, tonight I'm gonna start out and start what saying that it's Tuesday. I don't know when you're gonna see this video. I'll probably do a couple nights in this video. So it's Tuesday. I'm gonna start on it tonight. I hope to get quite a bit of the wet sand done tonight. And then I have, I'm gonna do some more tomorrow. And then hopefully buff it Thursday. And hopefully call it good for the car to be done for a while until my new carbon fiber moldings and uh, side skirts come in. Speaking of that, on the other side, I'm, I think I broke one of these clips. And this molding flew off and it's now somewhere on the side of the road. So I took this side off so it wouldn't look as weird. I'm not mad. I'm bummed, but I'm not mad because I have one on the way. <clears throat> and also something you guys probably don't know about paint. But see that right there? That's a dirt nib. A little dust nib. It doesn't matter how clean your booth is, how clean you are, anything. You're going to get dust nibs in your paint. So I'm going to take care of that too. So I have, um, let me flip the camera. I, I'm gonna start wet sanding with 1000 grit, and go on to 15, and then 2000, this is all wet, blocking it, so I brought, brought block home. And then we're gonna go 3000 on a DA, and I got 5000 on a DA, just one sheet of this, and three sheets of 3000. So I'm gonna, I also gotta clean all this stuff up. This is a really long clip. So I'm gonna start out by First of all, clean up all my paint stuff, taping up all the moldings and everything, all the stuff that does, doesn't need to get buffed like that, and I'll come back to you guys. Might throw a clip, quick little time lapse up. We'll see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. I decided I'm just not gonna tape it up till I buff it. I'm just gonna be careful sending. Um, any dirt nib I find like these, I'm just I have a block, with four thousand, well, one thousand. Um, and like, here's one right here. Oh, one sec. All right, there's one, where'd he go? Right there. See the little guy? I'm just gonna take it. Knock just that down really quick, just like that. And then I'm gonna come through with a thousand on a block and do that. So I'm just gonna denib the whole thing really quick. And then I'll start blocking it with 1,000, 2,000. Um, I haven't decided the best way to do this. I think I might do it panel by panel, like just um, 
like the front door, for example, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 that, and move on to the next step. I think I might do it that way. I'm not sure what the best way is. I didn't bring my DA home, so I'll DA the whole car all at once. Um, so yeah, um, just if you're if you're ever gonna buff your car, or if you ever painted it or anything, um, I imagine not all you guys work in the business like me, so I'm just gonna try to share some tips. And like if you do that, any edge or like body line. So this isn't an edge, but it's a body line. This is gonna have less clear than a flat because just all the, if it, there's clear on this, it wants to spread out, probably like flow down. So like here, if I, when I'm buffing and wet sanding, I don't wanna get up on this edge or that edge. I wanna stay away from it. Or for example, like I'm not gonna wet sand this cause there's an edge right here. There's an edge right here. I'm just gonna stay on top of it. And yeah, so any edge, this edge, there's no, there's not relative, relative to like this, there's no clear on this edge at all. Like you will burn through or sand through super quick. That's why I just want to stay on flat surfaces. And also like these edges right here, I'm just going to stay in here, not get on the edge. And when I buff it, you can buff on the edge, just, you can buff on the edge just a little bit. But you don't want to go crazy because you don't want to burn through or sand through, especially on the roof. So like, if I sand through or buff through on this quarter or roof, I'm going to be really sad. Because that means I have to pull these back out, pull the whole interior out so I can pull these back out and repaint and re-clear this. If I, if I sand through on, let's say down here, like the other fender I spray a little bit dry, I can just like tape off this and just do the bottom half of the fender. You know what I mean? So just be careful, know where you're working and know what, what you're working with. Like this has three coats of clear, or really high solids to clear. So it should be like four or five coats of clear, like production clear. So this should go easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no uh, sand through. So I'm gonna quickly de in a bit and then I'll throw up a time lapse of me start sanding. Okay, this is 1000 right here. I think this is what I'm gonna go for. Uh, keep in mind, this is the first time me ever wet sanding a whole car and painting it. So. I think this is what I'm going to go for the thousand is I'm going to get most of the peel out. Keep in mind, I have 15 and 2000 that will still cut. So I think I'll get most of the peel out just like this, um, with a thousand and then 15 and 2000 and D8. So <clears throat> I might go a little bit more to a thousand, but I'll probably swap over to 15 right now and try that out. I'll probably just do this one really quick. See how it looks. But man, that's getting me pretty happy. All right, I'm gonna throw up a time lapse and get going. All right, so I think this is what I'm gonna shoot for on the whole car. Um, I just did it with 2000 um, so pretty much I think I'm gonna borrow my the rotary polisher from work uh, Rotary polishers can take scratches out from 2000 uh, I think 1500 too, so The point of doing a thousand is so that way it cuts 1500 kind of rounds And the, so the point of doing 1500 is to take out the thousand the point of doing 2000 is to take out 1500 and if you didn't take out all the thousand, the fifteen hundred, the two thousand does it, or that's the goal. So <clears throat> uh, there's, I think I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more, but I'm just going along checking. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. There might be a little bit of orange peel here and there, but like I rather have there be that amount of orange peel than have that little bit amount of orange peel than rather have to repaint the whole thing, especially around the edges. Like right here, I'm gonna try to stay away from that with uh, any like a thousand grit or anything. I might come a little bit closer to 15, but yeah. So my hope is, like I said, today's Tuesday is 7:30. My hope is to get a lot of the car done with this, and then tomorrow I will bring home my DA and hopefully get all sanded down, and hopefully Thursday or another day I will buff it out so yeah 
Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to make these videos into one, but yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm probably just going to do a lot of catch up with you guys later. I should have taped it off. Focus. I hit the handle. Hopefully, I, I literally just like, don't. So, hopefully that'll buff out and not have any issues. I should have taped it off. I'm going to be more careful now. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it for the night. It's looking pretty good. Um, I shouldn't burn through anywhere. I uh, just get all worried with edges, so probably should have stayed off that. Should be okay, though. There's three coats of clear on it. Yep. So I got quarters done, hatch done, uh, quarter done, doors. So tomorrow night, I just got fenders, hood. I just have to DA everything, and then... um. Buff it, so I might start buffing it tomorrow. Um, my goal is to get back here, like I said, just get back here, do the fenders really quick. DA everything, which DA shouldn't take too long, because that's a DA, so, and then start buffing it. So, as long as I remember to bring stuff home tomorrow, it should be pretty good. So, yeah, um, as always, always if I remember to bring stuff home, because I usually forget. Uh, I'm just gonna leave my towel out here and whatnot. Because why not? So, all right, guys. I will see you tomorrow night. Bye, hey guys. It's Wednesday. I'm back out here. Um, so I got I brought the paint file back home from work. Oh, I'll show you how it works. Uh, I have no idea where you get this. It's just um little file and blackwood. Yeah, uh, you find your nib. You kind of like that. That knocks it down. You come back over with some sandpaper. It goes right away. So. Yeah, last night we left off with all that stuff done. So I might try to get to buffing. I'll try to get to buffing tonight. But I'm going to lock the fenders, the hood, the hood extension. I'm not going to worry too much about the bumpers. Because um, plastic buffs are a little different than uh, metal. The hood extension, I'm not going to worry too much about that. But i got to make, make it match the hood. And then I'm going to wet sand everything on DA. I'll show you that, of course. And then I might start trying to buff tonight. We'll see how long this stuff takes me. Uh, the whole pain process. Oh, I'll be done today. Two days later, I finally get done with it. So that's probably how this is going to go too. So yeah, I'll update you guys when I get something cool. Okay guys, I couldn't resist at least buffing in one spot. So I did the quarters, the roof, the hatch and whatnot. And of course I had to buff this. Like, damn, that looks good. Just look at that. What's up guys? Yep. Look, look at that. Can you tell us your reflection? Yeah, so not really. I'm really excited. Um, it looks so much better. Like, I wish you could just paint a car. I wish you could paint a car this good where you didn't have to buff it, but holy crap, that looks good. It's getting me pretty excited. So as long as I don't burn through anywhere, we're good. And buffing it actually didn't take too long. I'll show you what I'm using. Uh, borrowed a ro rotary polish from work. So we haven't used this in like a year and a half at work since we've used all um, all my walkie polisher. So Makita Rotary, it's got a cord, it's slim. Um, just this stuff, uh, wool pad, I think this is a 3M wool pad. Okay, come on. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't say. It's either a Norton Ice or a 3M wool pad. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. And then we have my Milwaukee 21 mil polisher with Meguiar's DFF6 finishing pad. Adam's Polish. This stuff smells amazing. It smells like bubble gum. Like if you ever went to uh, golf courses and at least the one golf course around me we used to go when I was a kid, they had the really crappy bubble gum that lasts for about five seconds. It smells exactly like this. It's like pink bubble gum. This is the cutting compound I'm using. This stuff works pretty good. And then this is DMC6, their wool pad. This works pretty good too. I just can't overload it, otherwise it works like doo-doo. So uh, what I'm gonna do is quickly DA the rest of the car and then try to rotary polish it tonight and maybe come back tomorrow and do the rest. But I wanna at least DA it so I don't have to bring the DA back tomorrow. Also, this is pretty cool. I hope you can actually see me. Okay, so I have the whole car DA'd. There's DA. Um, we should be good. I don't think I'm going to need my DA anymore. But what I'm going to do tonight is it's getting late. Um, what I'm going to do is 
My only worry with this, okay? My only worry is if I burn through, which I should explain burning through. Burning through or sanding through. Sand through and burn through is kind of different. Sand through is when you just sand through your clear coat into your base coat. Burn through is usually uh, the term you use when you're buffing. I burn through anywhere on the quarter panel, roof, or other quarter. I'm going to be so sad because you know what that means. The whole interior has come out. Both these have come out. I have to re, I'd have to re-put base coat where I burnt through. So let's say I burned through right here. Um, I have to put base here and re-clear the whole thing. This quarter, the roof, the roof rails. So that means I also have to take all of this part and the other quarter since there's no break off. If I, let's say if I burn through down here. Awesome, I can just re-clear this. Oh, repaint that. Or if I burn through on the hood, no biggie. I can just repaint the hood. If I have to, blend the fenders, no biggie. The quarters, terrified. Uh, I have three coats of clear, it's high solid, so it, uh, the paint rep Keith said it should be more like four coats of clear, and I put it on heavy. Not heavy enough to run, so. That spot turned out great. The the little pre-buffy spot right there. So we should be good. But yeah, I'm gonna do the quarters tonight and the roof and I'm calling out for the night and I'm gonna come back the next day and hopefully finish the car. I don't see why I won't finish the car the next day. Or I might take a break tomorrow and then come back Friday. We'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna go inside and get a snack. Yeah, so uh, nothing's easy. So the little Velcro part of this is uh, now stuck to this. So I have to figure out how to get this back on that. Yeah. Okay, this is where I end the night. Um, I have that much polished. I so the only thing I had here to try to get the Velcro to stick back onto the pad is super glue. So you know how this stuff works. You put it on, and then like 30 seconds, it's like glue, like your finger. You put it on your finger, 30 seconds later, it's stuck together. Right? Right. Wrong. Lola's right here, bitch. Um, I put it on there. I put it on in there between each thing, and then it, it wasn't going. And then I'm like, huh. Oh, okay, it's starting to stick. So then I'm like, okay, let me use it. And then a little bit of super glue got in the car. I'm like, oh, no. So then I had a panic attack. I wiped it off. It was good. Um, yeah. So what I'm either going to do is, I don't know. I'm going to probably take the polisher inside. See if it finally glues itself overnight while it's inside. If not, I might just run out and go buy a new one tomorrow. Like a Milwaukee uh, cordless one. But All right, guys. It's uh, Thursday. I just wanted to make a quick update. I'm trying to bust this out since I really want to be done with this tonight. Uh, got that rotary out. Working on the roof now. Two things. One, I'm not in a hurry to do this wet sand the whole car again. Two, I really forgot how like rotaries, I like how they look. Like look at this. All right. Yeah. See that? It doesn't show up as well as in camera. It looks really hazy and swirly. I'm just like, is that the sandy marks coming through? No, it's just a rotary because it leaves the scratches like that or whatever. So. I just, I gotta get used to back to the rotary. I'm gonna do the roof and quarters really quick, see if I get any bad news, like AKA I have to repaint it, which I really hope I don't have to. So yeah, I'm just gonna bust this out. There might be a time lapse or two, or not. We'll see, I really just wanna get this done tonight. So we'll see what happens. Okay guys, I got this one quarter done. It's looking awesome. So this is what I talked about earlier in the video. See, glassy, a little bit orange peely, and then glassy. I'm okay with that. I'd rather have a little bit of that and then have to repaint it. Um, if I wanted to go crazy show car, I'd get rid of all of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the car around, buff the other quarter panel, make sure I don't sand through. Uh, I only finished this so that, because my light is right here and I can do the roof from either side. So I'm gonna spin the car, do that quarter, do that whole side while the car spun and then I'll spin it again and finish up the driver's side here. All right guys, yep. All right, little update guys. I have the hatch quarters roofed on. 
She's looking good. Kind of not sure if it was worth doing this, but the way I painted the car, I painted it in mind that I was going to do this. So I had to do this. Um, it's about 8 30. I'm going to go inside, grab a snack. We're going to probably put another hour, hour and a half in out here. Probably try to finish the door. I'm going to have a lot of work to do tomorrow, which sucks because tomorrow's Friday and I got a car show I'm trying to go to Saturday. And I don't have any time Saturday morning since I got to help my parents out. So, yeah, busy life. So. I'm going to keep this clip quick so I can go inside, get a snack, come right back out here. It's a lot of work, dude. Um, it looks good. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I'll update you guys when I call it quits for the night. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to end the night with the camera. Um, front door done, but I must have jiggled a bolt loose on the handle. So I'm going to get this door done really quick, go inside, take the trim panel off, which sucks and then tighten the handle down and then move on to the fender, see what I can do on the fender. Probably going in for the night, so yeah. Fun, fun. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, I got out of work early. Uh, it was 12 on Friday. Uh, I got home at 12, so I've been working on this. I got one one part of the hood done. I got two more to go. Headlights, fender, door. It's looking really good. It's a lot of work. I'm trying to get it done today so I can clean the car. Get it ready for the car show tomorrow. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I'm either at the car show or the car show's already done. But I'm going to try to make a video out of it. Might be a short video. But yeah, I'm going to the Sheridan Car Show in Michigan. So uh, if you see that video afterward and you saw me, it's pretty cool. But I doubt any of you guys are from right around here. All right, I'm going to go grab a snack and keep working at this. This is where I'm going to end the video uh, for good this time. Uh, four hours about me later, so it's about four o'clock. Uh, I finally got done with her. She looks really good, really shiny. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, I'm really happy how she turned out. There might be a few things I do before I ceramic coat it or wax it, but uh, you guys might know. If not, you're about to know. You can't take your car through car wash well, you should never do it, but like those beater car washes or whatever, don't do that for 30 days after you paint a car and no wax or anything for at least 90 days after you paint the car since all your clear coat and everything has to gas out and all it has to finish curing. Like right now, it's still incredibly soft. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna ceramic coat it. Um, I think what? I think the earliest I can do is August, which kind of sucks, but I'll probably do a full paint correction or something before August, so. Yeah, I'm really happy how it's turned out. Now I'm gonna have to clean the whole car. I don't think I'm gonna wash it just because uh, here we have really, really hard water. It has so much iron and stuff in it. It's really hard, so I'm just gonna do everything by hand. Get it good, get it going for the car show. And yeah, I'm gonna try to put the windshield moldings on. We'll see how that goes. I might have to wait uh, a little bit before I do those. I'm gonna try, gonna try urethane those in, so. Your thing I'm in right here. We'll we'll see if I can get to work today. If not, oh well. It will go with the car show like that. So yeah. Um thank you so much for the support on the recent videos. A lot to me, like you guys don't know. Um, especially the painting video. There is some really nice comments and everything. So I appreciate you guys. You know who you are. Uh with that guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I love you guys. Peace out. Have a good one.